Hi everyone, welcome to Pinoy Nurse Portal. This is Rebecca. For Pinoy Nurse Portal, your portal to the ins and outs of working as Pinoy Nurse in the United States. On today's topic, we are going to discuss the non-medical terms they use in the hospitals. Hindi na nila ginagamit dito yung word na toxic. Okay, so if you're interested, without further ado, let's go get right into it. Here we go, it's all about you, it's all about me, it's all about what we do. Making art, you me, trying to find something to believe. Okay, so since nabanggit ko na rin lang, hindi nila ginagamit dito yung word na toxic, okay? Sa Pilipinas lang yung, if you're very busy, it'd be a toxic, grabe, ang toxic natin. Nung una ako, nung ginamit ko yun, hindi pala nila naintindihan yan. Ang ginagamit nila dito is having fun. Okay, so tatanungin ka, are you having fun yet? Ibig sabihin, busy ka ba? So, sabihin mo, yes, ganyan. So, hindi na nila ginagamit yung word na toxic, okay? Number two, they use the word code brown. Ugh, room three had a code brown. I need help over here. Anong ibig sabihin nung? Ibig sabihin tumain yung patient mo. Your patient, poop. So, you, you need to go and uh, clean your patient. Number three, nagulat ako nung ano, sabi, I'm going to have lunch. And night shift kami, bakit ba sinasabi niyang lunch? Magla-lunch daw siya, e dinner time naman na. Ang ibig pala nilang sabihin sa lunch is they are going to have a break. So, uh, yung term na lunch, ibig sabihin break time. Okay? Number four, anong number na ba tayo? Tired. Hindi nila sinasabi dito na sleepy. I'm so sleepy. Hindi ganon. I'm tired. I did not sleep well last night. So, I'm tired today. It's my first time. Ba it's my first first night bad okay so they use the word tired instead of sleepy next frequent flyer anong ibig sabihin yan pagdating nyo sa united states makaka-encounter kayo ng madaming patients na ganyan and they are literally frequent flyers ibig sabihin uh, ka discharge lang ngayon alam mo two days babalik na naman yan and these are usually no pun intended and no judgment intended these are pain seeker patients yung gusto nila ng pain sick uh, pain medicine gusto nila ng morphine delodid nako discuss natin yan sa iba nating uh, uh, sa iba pa nating vlog pero ngayon gusto ko lang i-share na frequent flyer means lagi silang nasa hospital Number seven, sundowning. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Nako, madami din kayong patients na ganito. These are usually yung people that are, ano, the elderly population. Pagdating ng sunset tala, for some reason, sabi ko, bakit ba itong mga pasyente na ito, nagiging confused sila, naglalakad, they become wanderer, they become like a different person. So, uh, nursing responsibility for sundowners, you really have to report to the incoming nurse, especially sa days. Alam mo, parang feeling nila, um, if you're a night nurse and you tell your the day uh, nurses kung anong nangyari sa patient mo that night parang huh Baliw ba itong nurse na ito? No! You really have to come work night shift for you to see the sundowners population. My God! Your sweet old grandma on the day, sh on the day shift becomes a different person at night kasi meron silang sundowner. Nursing responsibility, make sure your bed alarm is on and put them on their ano, non-skid socks, yung fall risk. Make them a fall risk patient. Number eight, vampires. Anong ibig sabihin yan? I think ginagamit din natin to sa Philippines pero yung mga flabot Miss, yung mga ganyan ang tawag sa kanila vampires. There you go again. The vampires are here. Usually sa madaling araw yan eh, kunukuhanan sila ng dugo. Next, full moon. Bonus na word ito. Pag sinabing full moon, ibig sabihin, nako, my God. Full moon ba ngayon? I think ginagamit din natin to sa Philippines kung yung araw mo talaga sa umpisa pa lang ay napaka-busy na. Everyone is having fun already. Parang ganyan. Ang tawag nila doon ay full moon. It doesn't necessarily mean na full moon, pero that's the term they use. Okay? Next, number nine, train wreck. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Let's say, um, yung isang nurse tatanungin, how's room nine? Kasi dito nire-refer yung patients ng room number, hindi ng last nine basis. I-discuss natin yan, okay, sa ibang vlog. But let's say, how's room nine? Ugh, he is a train wreck. Ibig sabihin, the patient is not doing well. Okay, self-explanatory. Next, number 10, cocktail. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Well, dito ang mga pasyente, tulad ng sinabi ko sa frequent flyers, usually yung mga pain seeker namin dito, gusto din ng nausea medicine. For some reason, when they uh, request for their morphine, may laging kasamang Zofran yan. Comment down below kung nakaka-relate kayo. Tatanungin ka magbabuzzer yan, uh, tatawagin yung nurse. Siyempre, meron kaming ask on phone. You could answer their call light through 
your phone. Can I help you with anything? Can I get my pain medicine? Sasabihin sa'yo ng patient. Okay, anything else? Ah, oh, that's it. Pagdating mo doon sa room ng patient, sasabihin sa'yo, can I also have my Zofran, which is an uh, anti-emetic medication. They usually like that uh, together. Pero, uh, you know, pain is subjective. Nausea is also subjective. Hindi mo naman alam kung totoo hindi. But you will give your pain medicine based on the patient's uh, grade ng pain nila. Kasi hodang naglalakad pa yung pasyente mo. When the patient says it's 7, the pain is really 7. And you have to give their pain medicine based on their pain score. Okay, so nursing responsibility, you have to give it to the patient. Okay? No questions asked. Well, actually, you have, I usually check their blood pressure. Kapag maayos ang blood pressure ng patient ko, sige lang, bigay mo na yung morphine nila sa kanila. Okay? 11 and 12, vitamin H and vitamin uh, ano ba yung isa? D. Okay? Ano yung vitamin H? Give the patient vitamin H. Ito yung mga withdrawal patient. Binibigyan ng vitamin H, which is, comment down below, ano ang vitamin H? Haldol. And what's vitamin D? DDD for the loaded. Yeah? <laughs> Ginagamit natin lahat yan dito sa United States. Nung bago ako sa US, my God, takot na takot akong mag-push ng morphine. Hanggang sa masasanay ka na lang talaga. Basta nursing responsibility, check their vitals before giving morphine or the loaded. Uh, para sa iyong sariling kapakanan. Okay? Hayaan mo na ako. Nung iisipin ng iba, ang arte naman ng nurse ito, ayaw pa ibigay sa akin yung gamot. Girl, yung license mo ang nakataya dyan. Okay? Make sure na blood pressure at least is within normal limits. Okay? Next na Number 13, walkie-talkie. We have a walkie-talkie patient. It should be okay. Anong ibig sabihin niyan? Ibig sabihin naglalakad. Yun lang. Next, breathing treatment. And I don't mean SVN. Tatangin sa'yo, where did room 14 go? I need to take his vitals. Oh, he went outside for his breathing treatment. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin na ni Garilio yung patient. There are hospitals in the United States that the patients are not allowed to go out to smoke especially sa no uh, especially sa non smoking facilities our hospital is one of them pero ang mga pasyente guys lumalabas yung mga yan mga sticky sila mga patient so anong gagawin mo well it's your nursing responsibility to tell them that the hospital uh, that the hospital na na-admit sila is a non smoking facility next nursing responsibility you need to get an order for a nicotine patch okay sabihin mo sa patient i'm sorry i cannot allow you to go smoke but i can ask doctor to write a nicotine patch order for you okay usually nage ama yung mga pasyenteng ganyan mm, on the second or third day ng admission niya comment down below kung na-experience niyo na yan okay pag-uusapan natin lang yan lahat sa mga iba pang vlog okay. next drug seeker lagi namin tong ginagamit and sorry guys for labeling you drug seekers pero meron talagang ganyan katulad nga ng sinabi ko may mga pasyenteng gusto lagi ng morphine at saka ng deloaded at saka sa floor namin kasi we do a lot of surgery sa floor namin uh, ginagamit din nila yung fentanyl nako uh, we push fentanyl q2 hours usually pag post up yung patient i'm not stingy with pain medicine especially if i already know the patient post up guys nasubukan yun na bang maging post up patient you have to be um generous with their uh, pain control because one uh na traumatized na yung patient like we say i work as a burn nurse burn itself is a traumatic experience you don't want them to have another trauma of not being able to control their pain after surgery kasi uh, napaka hirap non para sa kanila meron yang usually ptsd ang mga burn pain and then last but not the least two seconds anong ibig sabihin yan uh halimbawa uh Ako, yung CNA ko, tatanungin ko siya, Hey, can you please give room 9 milk? Sabi, yeah, sure, give me 2 seconds. Uh, Self-exploratory, ibig sabihin, bigyan mo ako ng konting pagkakataon. Ganon. Tama ba yung explanation ko? <laughs> kung nagustuhan niyo itong vlog na to, please don't forget to give me a like. Please comment down below kung may natutunan kayo sa vlog na ito o kaya kung nakarelate kayo. Please don't forget to share this to your friends, especially sa mga nurses na gustong mag-work sa United States. Okay? Sa mga student nurse, baka makatulong din sa kanila. Okay? Once again, this is Rebecca, your nurse Rebecca for Pinoy Nurse Portal, your portal to the ins and outs of working as Pinoy nurse in the United States. Thank you so much for watching. Till our next vlog. Oh, he is uh, on a train wreck. Oh, oh house number. Uh, house.